everybody, this is Praxis, and I've got an issue with the root cellar, which is just under my feet over here. It's getting really humid in there. That's not a surprise. It doesn't have any air exchanging out of it, and I knew at some point I was going to need to do some ventilation. In fact, that's why I have a pipe, a four-inch ABS pipe, going down into the corner there. It comes up to this point, and I was my plan was I would dig down a little bit and kind of have this go off to somewhere where it would collect air and bring it down uh, into the root cellar. I figured I'd have it go under, under not underwater, underground, to kind of pre-cool the air a little bit so the air coming in isn't, uh, you know, hot uh, air from outside. But at the moment, I just need to get some air in there, and that's what I'm working on right, right here. Uh, just on top of it, I put a 45 degree angle of ABS uh, pipe uh, here, and then this uh, green section is just some spare. Uh, you can see I've got all my scrap pipes down over there behind you to your right. There's just some scrap that was left over from doing the perimeter drains. Uh, I took a an old com ow. <laughs> I wasn't supposed to touch there. <laughs> I uh, I took a uh, old computer fan from an old computer. I, whenever I break down a computer, I like to take whatever is useful out of them. Oftentimes that's fans. I've got a whole box of old computer fans. I took this one out, and it's got three wires coming out, a red, a black, and a yellow. The red and the black are the positive and the negative, and they just run to this solar panel over here I got on the, on the ground, which I also just fished out of the trash. Somebody was throwing that out. It was at the transfer station. I just picked it up several years ago. It's, you know, a perfectly good solar panel, and it's nice. It's got a really long wire attached to it, so I can run it around, and I think I'm going to... At the moment, I just want to get a lot of air down there, so I've got it in the sun and blowing. But I think maybe uh, going forward, I might make it so that it just gets morning sun, and that way it'll pull in the, the cool air in the morning, but then it won't be going during the hottest time of the day. So you keep mostly cool air going in there, and you're not having it go during the, the hot time. Uh, the last step that I'm doing here is I just want to get uh, kind of a lid on it so that it, when it rains, the rain's not going in. I'm going to use this old flower pot, and I'm just positioning these little sticks to, uh, to get it uh, so that it spaces off a little bit. I'm gonna do the last one right here. The tape is getting hot and curly and gooey in the, in the sun here. Ugh, but I'm doing my best. All right, so ma kind of match this with the other ones for height. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. Again, this whole job is just temporary. I'm not gonna leave it this way. Uh, kind of it being ugly, and I'm, I'm putting all this stuff together with duct tape. There's just some duct tape as a seam here so water doesn't go in. This is all just temporary stuff. And there we go. So rain can fall on there, and it's not going to uh, get inside the house. I'm going to do one more run of duct tape just kind of around the, the bottom of these sticks. Oh, it's getting so mushy. To uh, kind of retain them there like this, keep them in place, and I'm going to put a little bit more duct tape just over the uh, electrical parts because they're sort of exposed. I mean, it's not a danger issue, but just, you know, it's good to keep electric stuff clean and dry. All right. So now that this is all done, this is going to be a nice situation where I'll be getting at least some fresh airflow into the, uh, the root cellar, and that's gonna make it so that I'm not building up uh, mildew like I have been. Uh, you know, ultimately, I'm gonna reroute this, get this to a, a nicer thing. I wanna have this go through some pre-air filters, uh, you know, some HEPA filters, because if I ever needed to use this as a fallout shelter, you don't want your air coming in direct, you want it coming in through filtered, uh, you, know, uh, you know, barriers. So I, ultimately, I'm gonna have it all be pre-filtered air, so that if we ever did need it to use it for that capacity, it would be functional as such. But for now, this temporary job is going to do just fine. That's it. Thanks for watching.